In this short video, we're going to study and explore how you can make sure to have a well-timed action plan in phase with your market cycle. We will use the typical representation of the market life cycle by using the four main phases introduction, growth, maturity and decline. The convention is to represent the four phases of your product on a market on a chart that represents the timeline and the revenues. I would invite you to challenge this convention by substituting the revenues by the global performance of your product. Here are a couple of performance metrics that could be used on the y-axis. Market share or number of customers or profitability. In this tutorial, we will mostly focus on the first three steps of the life cycle graph introduction, growth, maturity, and will cover partially the decline phase. Note that the graph allows you to plot your maximum market share or your ongoing market share with regards to the potential market. The lifeline graph should evidence the link with the short-term objective, intermediate objectives, and mid-long-term objectives for your product. There it is now. Let's uncover the full potential of this tool. Let's take an example. We're going to check our plans are consistent with the market phases. What kind of plan is relevant for each phase? The introduction phase of a product should be as short as possible. We're going to have a product launch plan. Then we'll go for a product management plan for the midterm period and over the time and long term we're going to go for a business development plan. Developing a market takes time and perspective. It's specifically the case when it comes to understanding the different segments you want to work with according to the phase where you are. Questions you want to ask yourself are who are the first customers that will purchase my product and then who will be the next customers? will go after. Achieving success is a matter of progression. From the moment when you introduce your new product and do the first sales with a selection of customers to the moment of the ramp up for the growth phase where you actually seek more repeat business from the original customers and conquer new customers. The maturity is the moment when actually you have to leverage your customer base and try to keep the competitors at bay. At every phase, the sales force have to be prepared to face different commercial talking points with their customers. Efficient market management is about proactive anticipation of the next phase. I suggest three metrics to perfectly manage the switch between one phase to another. Break-even point, when you start making more business with your existing customer than with the new customers and when you start to lose more customers than you retain customers. Each of the phases will offer a different challenge that will test our ability to react and our capacity to stick to what's critical to success. Innovation is a powerful way to enhance your situation on the market, providing it's used with the right timing according to the phases. Making the product available the right way should lead the tactics in terms of distribution and channels. What do we do? For what purpose? The major price dangers are a low price at introduction, too many rebates during the growth phase, and cannibalization during maturity. Let's wrap this up. This chart is presenting what we've seen so far and is also introducing a couple of other items in terms of sales wave description, main marketing objective, and messaging challenge. As now you have understood, you will for each of the phases find a couple of useful insights into those different topics. Have fun!